Dance music was this extraordinary phenomenon that uh, encouraged people to uh, try and realize their dreams. I went to a party and I heard the first time a DJ mixing two records together and I went in contact to electronic music, I went to Berlin, I went to the first parties, I got in contact with all this Detroit music and it's changed my life completely so I wanted to be a part of it so I changed my life and said I, I don't want to be like a normal raver working Monday to Friday, I, want, I feel there's something going on in the beginning of the 90s and I want to be a part of it and I'm super happy that I am. Rave culture in the 80s was that it was completely outside of any industry. You know, again, it was doing, it was doing this thing saying, I don't want to be a part of. I don't want to be like the people that came before. I don't want to be like anything else. And uh, and it was turning on thousands and thousands of people without radio, without the media, just by word of mouth. And uh, um, I always thought music was about being outside of the box. It was about seeing where the rules are and seeing if you could break them, seeing if you could push things further than they'd been taken yesterday. Especially I remember we didn't dance in front of the DJ because the DJ was not the main thing, we just came for the music and now everything is around the DJ. The DJ is like, whoa, of course we have to deal with it. I feel like dance acts and dance artists, I mean even DJs, they're, 
their pop stars. Now. Yeah, they're pop stars. You look at people like you know, David Guetta, and uh, the first one who did it in that crazy way was probably Tiesto. I remember when there was the crazy Tiesto phase, you know? There's so much money involved in this electronic music scene. There's no underground anymore. But always what I can see is when there's like a huge thing go, growing up and people talking about Ibiza, big club gigs, big, big money, I always have the feeling there's a really, really healthy underground scene growing. And this is super good. And I love it when the young kids make their own parties, they give a shit on the big clubs, they're just going somewhere in the woods making their own thing. And this is always really healthy. It's like a really healthy situation. I hope that the uh, superstar cult and the, and the billion dollar DJ scene will spawn a uh, underground culture that will react to it. Um, and that will produce something different. I hope it will produce something better. start to look very secondary to electronic music very soon and the, and the whole point is is then you're gonna have to sort of start thinking about what you going around even talking about electronic music what is electronic music it's all music is electronic music now the thing that always I loved about electronic music was experimentation the fact that electronic music was like a way to explore sounds that normal instruments couldn't create. It is the most powerful kind of music. It could actually, you know, you could use it in sort of, I don't know, some mad futuristic kind of programming people's brains type way. You can't do that with like rock music so much. You literally like make people go, mm with electronic music. Looks like maybe that's what's going to happen. is simple and and it does a simple thing and it creates um it creates something in the body makes you dance and everything else people like that my job is to listen to what the audience is saying 
and to have a conversation with them. So for us to throw ideas backwards and forwards, for, for us to send the music out, for them to send back their very clear message and then for us to carry on developing something together that makes it a special, you know, unique, something that they can go home going, you know, that's what you want is Trzeba mieć publiczność, żeby w ogóle mieć dla kogo, komu jakby dawać to, 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 to dobra, ten, ten fajny flow, który, który właśnie wy, wiesz, wykręcasz, bo to wszystko się dzieje jakby na żywo i do tego naprawdę potrzebna jest publiczność. Jakbym miała robić to sama dla siebie, to to jest w ogóle to jest martwe tak naprawdę. Wydaje mi się, że jeśli nie włożymy czegoś w muzykę, to ta muzyka nie odda tego czegoś później słuchaczom, i, a, a najłatwiej szukać tej energii w czymś, co jest w miarę osobiste i i dla nas angażujące, czyli w czymś, co nie jest nam obojętne. Siło rzeczy to są prawdopodobnie rzeczy, które nam się przytrafiają. Wydaje mi się, że w ogóle najwięcej energii yy, też jakiejś tam twórczej wynika z, ze spotkań właśnie międzyludzkich, z tego, co się, z tej dynamiki relacji z innymi ludźmi itd. itd. It's about what's in there. And music is all about emotion. So it's all about does it make you believe? The story does it make you believe what it's saying? Does does this artist make you believe them? Do you believe their journey? Do you believe their story? Do you believe what they're singing? Do you believe what they're saying? If you don't, forget it. If you believe them, then they're real. I just want to say thank you very much. You've been an amazing audience. A crowd, an audience, comes to uh, a festival or a party um, because they want to. They want to have a good time. They want to be happy. They want to celebrate, and in a non-violent way. We're doing this music. We feel free. We're going to parties. We let our, all our problems out. And sometimes I have the feeling if more people in the whole world would listen to electronic music or come more to parties, we had less problems. We don't have so much. We wouldn't have so much wars and uh, bad things. Come on, all people have to go to parties, enjoy themselves, and let everything go.